A lot of stories have been done around the actual shooting of AKA and Tibbs in Florida Road on February 10th. However, not much has been done around where the killers came from and where they possibly went to. And then, of course, there is AKA's final day, from the morning leading up to his death. This is what we know of AKA's final day. Catch me tonight, we had Hugo, baby. We out there at Hugo. Dubani, we're on the way. AKA flew from Johannesburg to Durban's King Shaka International Airport on Friday morning. He was in Durban to perform at a venue called Hugo later that evening. He checked into this hotel in Umschlange and recorded himself working out in the hotel gym. The next time we catch up with the late rapper is when he is with his friends on his way to Wish on Florida. He gets his hair cut at the same venue. Then it's dinner time with some celebratory shots with his friends. This was just moments before he was meant to perform at Hugo, a venue just down the road from Florida Road. However, he would never make it there. And as the group leaves Wish on Florida, the two shooters creep up on AKA, shooting him and his friend Tibbs dead. The shooters run off in the same direction from where they came from. Firstly, the killers ran straight past a police kiosk, which is set up in Florida Road. Looking at a detailed map, we can see there are a few options where these criminals can go after shooting the group. The first is a footpath that leads to a back road, which runs parallel with Florida Road. They could have parked here and escaped down this route. The second option is they could have continued along Gordon's Road, which is perpendicular to Florida Road, and turned left or right at this T-junction at Montpelier Road. From what we have learned, police have secured CCTV footage from at least two of these businesses on Montpelier Road at this intersection, suggesting the getaway car and the shooters took this road. This is not definite, but very likely. People in the know suggest that the men must have taken a right and headed in this direction, as a left would have led them down to a busy Durban center and beachfront, where there would be multiple chances of cameras and witnesses. According to the police, we have Minister Becky Trele speaking confidently that progress is being made. Personally, with the reports that I've, I've received, uh, I'm fine. I think the, the progress is being, is being made. Importantly, even if the shooters are captured, this doesn't mean we will ever learn who paid them to do it, if indeed this was a hit. In a similar case in Cape Town, well-known lawyer Pete Mahalik was brazenly killed by two KZN hitmen while dropping off his children at a private school in Greenpoint. The two killers were arrested by a stroke of luck during a roadblock. However, to this day, we aren't any closer to learning who killed Mahalak. Now we wait to find out where the police are and what their next move will be. However, this gives some sort of insight into the final day and where the killers could have gone.